Hey guys, I'm back with another Christmas recipe and this week I'm showing you how to make a Christmas showstopper cake. I can't believe how quick Christmas is coming around and this recipe would be great as a centerpiece at your Christmas parties. I think this cake looks spectacular and you won't believe just how easy it is to make. So I'm going to start by showing you how to make the sponge. This is really easy. I'm throwing all of my ingredients in apart from the cocoa powder. I'll explain why in a minute. So I'm going to start with some stalk of butter. This is going to make my sponge nice and fluffy. The great thing with stalk of butter is you can use it straight from the fridge, so don't worry if you forgot to take your butter out. So next in I have some caster sugar, sprinkle that over. Now to give the cake a bit of flavour I'm adding in some vanilla extract and then five eggs. Now I know this sounds like a lot but we're doing three layers to make it look even more impressive. And finally, I'm going to sift over some baking powder and some self-raising flour. That is mixed together nicely. The mixture is lovely and fluffy. I'm going to add a third of that mixture into my cake tin. And I've just greased that with butter and lined it with baking paper. That way the cake will come out nice and easy. The reason I didn't add the cocoa powder in before is because we're doing an ombre cake. So the top layer is going to be plain vanilla, so that's that layer done. I'm now going to take the remaining mixture, split that in half, add some cocoa powder to the second layer and a lot more cocoa powder to the third layer and it'll be really pretty once you cut into the cake. Now that my mixture is evenly divided, I'm going to add cocoa powder and some boiling water into my first bowl. I'm going to sift that just to get rid of any lumps. And for the final layer, just a small amount of cocoa powder. They are now ready to go into the oven. My cakes are out of the oven. I pop them onto a cooling rack to let those cool and now I'm going to make the icing. So into a big bowl I have some sifted icing sugar and to that I'm going to add in some stalk with butter. To give it some more flavour I'm adding in some vanilla extract. Now I need to beat that all together until it's nice and smooth and fluffy. My buttercream is fluffy, it's a lot paler in colour, let's get assembling. I have a 9 inch cake drum and I'm going to place all my cakes on top. I'm going to go with the darkest sponge first. You might want to add a tiny bit of buttercream onto the base just to stop that from slipping around. I've taken a cake leveller to level off the top so they can fit together better. I'm going to add a nice layer of buttercream on first. Now that's nice and smooth, I'm going to repeat that all the way up. My top tip for nice smooth cakes is to fill in any of those gaps with some remaining buttercream, take an offset palette knife and run that around the edge, that way you'll get a nice clean finish. The cake can now go on the side to set while I make the rest of the icing. Now not only is the cake ombre, the icing is too. So I'm going to take a third of the remaining buttercream and place it into a separate bowl. And into that, I'm going to sift over some cocoa powder. Pour over a tablespoon of boiling water and mix that all together. That is looking all blended and smooth. That can go into my piping bag now. You want to repeat that with the next lot of chocolate buttercream, but this time you won't be adding in as much cocoa powder.
To give it that ombre effect, I'm going to pipe some of the darker chocolate along the bottom third first, then the lighter chocolate around the middle, and then the vanilla over the top bit and the top of the cake. And then I'm gonna smooth it all together with an offset spatula. I've placed my cake in the fridge for the icing to set and when the ganache is poured over the top it won't melt because the ganache will still be slightly warm. So for the ganache I have some hot cream, not boiling, I've just heated that up in the microwave and I'm going to pour that over some finely chopped chocolate. For all of the ingredients, click the first link in the description box below. My cake is out of the fridge and it's a lot cooler. Now we can add the ganache on the top and this is going to give us a drip effect. We're gonna pour it into the center, use an offset spatula, and I'm gonna push it over to the edges and it will drip down the edges. It'll look so pretty. So there you have my showstopper Christmas cake, perfect for your Christmas parties, easy.